Kiroga. Kiroga. As we say, uh, Sam, we see uh, Kuroga has to get in down below. He tried to come to the key. Number of 89 was named. We're in for a great day. You see Kuroga. Him in any ways, but the other guy, he's going to hold himself calm, really get going. Fifth in the IBF. Fifth Roger comes to the hometown of the... Not so long ago, he went to Belcastro's hometown. As Kiroga slipping inside. Kid again getting some punches. Kiroga, but now would like to keep it right where it is, and that's in the center. He does not want to be on those ropes. Team known to be active. Now he's got to fight and fight a very much taller and longer reaching opponent. As we see here, Akeem, sorry. Akeem's got to cool himself. He's got the duck under. If you want, Akeem's wide open. Great wins by Kid Akeem. Below that time for the challenger. A minute or so, Sam, but there's not much snap in those punches at this stage. Tr Title here in San Antonio. Kid Akeem trying to loop those upper. Go on for low blow. Down rule. Solid white, the champion. Here's Robert Kiroga. The first two rounds. Keep a little pop in those. There's the left hand by both fighters. The uppercut again, again by Kid Akeem. Akeem turning his body more, if you notice, turning himself sideways on. Less of a target for Robert Kiroga. And at 115 in a string being, it is less of a target indeed. Look at him, it goes, a big cut. Big cut over the Kiroga's left eye. eye. Yes, it is, a huge cut. A big cut over the left eye of Kiroga in the third round, and this could be a major turn of this fight. It's a real bad cut. Oh, my. A real thrashing blow. Looked innocuous. Yeah, but we'll have to wait till we get a little closer look at it to make sure. And also, it is low enough on the eyebrow that it is not trickling into his eye. Or going around it. Always difficult for a fighter. Swinging, but they're not going through. Just like Akeem was in the first two rounds. Now, we must all not reach the sixth round. Well, that can give on the replay, they too. A little legal blow there, sir. Got a long way to go with that. Hooking left hand. Four Sam, does he have a history of cuts and is a key? It mentioned the Olympic prowess. Oh. Both fighters, Kim and Sharon. And we're in for a real cracking fight. And Kiroga's back on Kinnake. Robert. That crowd ain't. flies in the stomach of Kid Akeem. Those first two rounds, Kiroga, were a lot to do with it. He didn't quite know what to do. The noise was there. Robert Kiroga comes in again, tries to get those punches through. This Not is, much damage. This is the Robert Kiroga of all. Watch as he tries to upper. Kiroga backing up. Kid Akeem back against the ropes where he doesn't want to be. Look at the body work of the champion. Oh. Kid Robert Kiroga taking a punch too, Sam. He does indeed. Kid Akeem, like a snake, lashing out with a punch. Barry Yates, the referee, is watching us very closely, realizing that Kid Akeem is letting Robert punch. But Kid Akeem has got to throw some punches before Barry steps in there. Working in the corner with him. The rounds only once. So quite obviously, if they should go the distance, it would be the more foreign ground to the NABF champions. As a matter of fact, he won the title, or defended it in 12 rounds the second time he had to defend it. Well, here we have a change of uh, emphasis here. We now got Akeem, who has Robert Kuroga traps on the ropes. Putting those punches together, pushing forward, putting that elbow into Robert Kuroga's nose. In fact, the eye of Robert Kuroga, Sam, is now bursting open again. There's blood coming out of it. We haven't seen that since the beginning. We keep using the word cut. There are plural. There are two cuts, one on the eyebrow and one on the eyelid. And we have now reached the sixth round. Also, I think Kid has got a little mouth bleed somewhere. We can see blood on his list most of the time. Since the round the cut appeared, Akeem Robert Kiroga from the reach advantage for Akeem. He gets access to do any damage with those punches. Measure. There we saw it. Measure up the left, come clean through onto that eye quite regularly now. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, we've now gone past the six rounds, Mark Sam, so we're into uncharted. Akeem is very difficult with that shoulder on bent arm tactic because he's. So tall that Robert Kiroga runs into the hand with that. A bloody mess is the champion right now, Robert Kiroga. However, there is some blood on Kid Akeem as well. He has been bleeding from the lip since round one. No problem there, however. Well, I saw the working on his left eye in the corner in the break. Little 
skirmish going on outside the ring as well. Looking at that right, the left. Logan throwing a punch. He's not he, he knows he's got something now. Oh, when Akeem actually gets Robert on the rope because he's able to pummel him from that extra. Kiroga coming back with a digging left hand. All of these punches being caught on the glove, though, of Kid oh. Akeem. Left eye, Kiroga has taken some punishment. Two good headshots there from Kid Akeem. Whatever he's trying here, Robert Kiroga, it almost seems as though Kid Akeem has decided to give him a working over Sam. It's suddenly turning in, in Akeem's favor. He survived that storm. Kiroga has lost his snap. He's trying hard, but it's not coming out. And Kid Akeem again changes. A good punch by Kiroga. I think that was an off balance by Akeem, but he did get hit. Kiroga's on top of it. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And there's time. Now Kid Akeem comes back to get it back in his favor near the end of the round. <laughs> what an exchange at the end of round eight. Well, oh. the effort which goes into being a world champ and taking the tri the staunches now. It's it's weeping as he gets into the ring for each round. Cedric Kushner Productions in cooperation. And actually because of Akeem's long levers, he's letting le the, the lever come round onto that eye, which is the problem. He should be doing the opposite, moving to his left. Cards at ringside, the champion's behind. And Kid Akeem, the way he's fighting right now, wants to keep him that way. Yep, Kid Akeem certainly got a nasty cut in the mouth there, Sam. We can see he's got thick blood on his mouth. He's got a... A real sneaky cut inside there. Akeem pouring on the agony here, pouring on those punches. Robert Kiroga's face again, and they're looking nasty. Just a bloody mess. Kiroga dug a right hand inside. Anna Fawasi, of course, throwing the punch over the top. Here comes Kiroga back again. Half a minute to go, round nine. Good hand combination by the champion. Round nine. It's hard for us to see what's happening. Ten here, Robert Kiroga fighting for his life as the champ. Very close fight at this stage. Looping right hand inside by Kid King trying to... Here's that elbow again to push Kiroga against the ropes. Keep in mind that Anna Fawasi has been warned already once today for that elbow up. And the way this fight is going with the scoring, that could be a devastating blow of a point should be deducted from either fighter here. To just try to find what opening's there, but not really loading up with any big punches right now. Keep in mind they're in the 10th round of a 12-rounder though. That has always been, Sam. Robert Kuroga gives a few blows. You think Akeem is on his way out. He comes back and does exactly the same thing again. Right hand by Kiroga, slipping over the top. Comes out plating with the left. Got the left hand in. Akeem there doubling up on the right. First time we've seen him do that. A few little pokes, a few little blows. This has been one of those fights almost throughout, where one punch turns the fight completely around. Kiroga oh, for the one. Kid Akeem again, using that strategy to his advantage. <laughs> he has rope doped a bunch today. We start the 11th. The main reason they try to protect both fighters and not become a little more antsy on their stools because they are coming close to the retainer's title. Robert have been well focused. Both have been well trained. Good care of by Beto Martinez in the Robert Quiroga corner. That was a nasty cut in the third. Soon the man coming forward in the 11th, Sam is Kid Akeem. He's pushing Robert Quiroga back. He is. And I tell you one thing, if he does go on to win this 11th round, it could be interesting on the scorer cards as we go to the 12th. 
we are very, very close here in San Antonio. Robert Caroga, the champ, is Peter Keen, the challenge. By a point on the cards unofficially, this is for all the marbles. Well, can he get enough blows in? Can he do something? If he can put Robert Caroga down for one, I'm sure he's going to take this title. It's going to be very, very close all the way here. On the inside of that five-foot-one body of his. Akita Keen towering over him by nearly four or five inches. Looping those big long left and right arms. Hometown crowd a little stunned. Not a lot of noise coming at the moment with only Whoa. half of the round to go. Great combination there from Akita Keen. Letting more than to challenge and challenge big time as now the crowd does come alive. Kiroga answers the challenge. Kedakim takes the punches and comes out swinging. Look at the blood going down the side of his face. A real river of blood there. Kiroga trying to put it on. Missing, like, putting those blows in. We're getting all sorts of missiles coming in, Sam. And the war is just about over. The final punches have been thrown and it is over in San Antonio. 116-112 for the winner, and still the IBM.